Have you ever wondered how people in cold countries such as Russia, Canada, Holland, Norway, with long winter can have enough food for their residents in winter? Long time ago, these countries must produce food in summertime and save food for wintertime. They also can import food from the other countries and especially, nowadays they can produce food by using greenhouses for crops in wintertime and of course in the other time as well. In this video, we are gonna study about Firstly, what is a greenhouse? Then, greenhouse structure Greenhouse management brief preview And a practical greenhouse A greenhouse is a man-made structure which is mainly used to cultivate off-seasonal crops Extend the farming or gardening season and protect crops from harsh weather conditions. Moreover, a greenhouse is to be also able to have irrigation, ventilation, or heating systems which are controlled by main controllers or computers. If a greenhouse doesn't have operation systems to control irrigation, temperature, humidity, or carbon dioxide, etc., then people often name it cold frame greenhouse. Based on the weather and finance conditions and the growing purposes, a cold frame greenhouse could be chosen by the cultivators. Both types of these greenhouses are covered by sunlight permeable materials such as glass or clear plastic. Greenhouses can have from small size structures which are used at homes for personal goals or at schools for experimental purposes, to large or extremely large for cultivating crops. Basically, the larger a greenhouse is, the more complicated to control the greenhouse should be. There are several different types or shapes of greenhouses, such as Lean to greenhouse, when you place a greenhouse against a side of a building or attached to one side of an existing structure. Even span greenhouse. An even span greenhouse is a greenhouse that is constructed where the roof's pitch is of both equal length and angle. The ridge and furrow type greenhouse consists of a number of even span greenhouses connected along the length of the greenhouse. All shared walls are removed providing more growing space. These greenhouses are sometimes called gutter-connected. Gothic Arch Greenhouses Picture any Gothic structure you've seen, and you'll get a clear image of a Gothic Arch Greenhouse. It has that distinctly pointed roof that helps eliminate the need to include trusses on the greenhouse structure. Such a structure is ideal for hobby and commercial use since it can be as small or as big as you want. Uneven Span Greenhouse You'll notice a distinctive feature regarding the uneven span greenhouse. One roof of this structure is longer than the other. The primary reason for this structure's design is to allow more sunlight intake when the greenhouse structure is in a hilly area. Greenhouse's frame can be built from different materials. Based on the size and goal to use the greenhouse, wood, metal, or even PVC pipe can be used. For a small greenhouse, operating it is simple as its primary function is to protect plants from not much harsh weather conditions. Thus, this type of greenhouse is mainly opened, closed, or ventilated manually. There is not any computer or controller in this greenhouse to support the work. For a greenhouse with supporting of a computer or a controller, it is going to be more complicated to operate as the operator must be familiar with computer software or the controller interface. Furthermore, this person must be able to reckon or estimate the weather and environment conditions such as temperature, humidity, carbon dioxide, wind speed, or wind direction to provide information for the computer or controller. 
then these devices can automatically control the greenhouse. As a result, this type of greenhouse will require many types of sensors, detectors, actuators and devices which we could see in the later figures. And now, we are gonna visit a real greenhouse to see briefly what they have. Let's go.
Thank you for watching this video. If you like, please subscribe and share. See you next time.